What's up YouTube? Blaze here, giving you guys another garden update. Um, so first thing you guys will see or notice is that I have set up the first layer of trellis netting. It's about 18 inches from the base, from the bottom of the plants here, up to the top of the trellis netting, at least the first layer. And then probably another 12 inches up here, um, I'll have another layer of trellis netting. And then once it gets to about halfway, I'll be flowering them. If you guys can see that I'm not sure if that works or not um, so I put up put up the first layer like I said and um, the way I did it is I have some four-way PVC's down here and then I put about uh, four feet up coming up to the top and then 48 inches each way um, so I did that on all four corners and then add, added three ways on the top to kind of connect the tops and keep it sturdy um, so that's kind of what's been going on. Not too much other stuff. Um, I did some IPM a little bit. So I'll, I'll go to that here. Show you guys what I did there. It's just some nematodes. Stuff like that. Take care of the fungus gnats. That's all I really have. Um, nothing else. Um, it's been pretty clean other than that. I do have um, a concoction brewing up here. I'll show you guys. If you guys can see that or not. Kind of cloudy and dark. But it's basically just coconut powder, silica, and some mammoth pea. Um, so I've noticed a big difference when using mammoth pea. Um, it's increased the size of the buds and just overall weight, stuff like that. So um, I've been using that. It's kind of something I've been using as part of the, the normal regimen. Um, and I got the two Fluence Spider RX Pluses um, doing their thing here. I, straight LED. Um, I used to have this Gavita HPS going up here. Um, but I just noticed that, you know, 
these LEDs suck a lot less juice. They're a lot cooler. They run a lot cooler, a lot hotter, a lot less hot, I should say. Um, and they produce better results, at least what I've been able to see. So I got two of those going on, maybe get a third eventually. So um, other than that, um, I've been giving them a lacto bath probably about every day underneath the leaves as well as on top. Um, so that's what I'm actually going to do um, right before I water them, give them a lacto bath. It's basically just lactobacillus um, condensed down into, you know, the mix with water, um, stuff like that. You can make that on your own. Uh, it's pretty easy to make. I'll eventually do a video um, on how to make it and stuff like that. It's very beneficial to the plants. Um, it helps them uptake nutrients um, and also fight off diseases, utilize nutrients um, more efficiently. Um, so whatever's in the soil or, soil or whatever you feed your plants, your plants will be able to um, basically utilize it to its fullest potential um, with the lactobacillus. So it's something you want to use and it's something you probably just want to use in a like garden or no-till. Um, not usually hydroponics just because you know, it's a natural substance and you can get fungi bacteria stuff like that um, If you use it so um, but Other than that, I've also been messing with a little bit of um, Korean natural farming So we'll cut to that right now and show you guys what I've been doing with that um, It's basically cut up some fruits and veggies uh, mix them all together and the concoction I did is beneficial for the kind of the transition period into flour or no from veg to flour so I'll kind of explain that um, when I cut to it all right so this is the fermented fruit juice as you can see it's got some sugar um, on top of it um, but basically this is pumpkin squash and banana so this is beneficial or this type of um, fermented fruit juice is beneficial when you're going from transitioning from veg to flour so plants actually undergo like um, something similar to what humans undergo is like a morning sickness um, when they get pregnant so when they go from that um, growth stage to a reproductive stage um, which in this case we're flipping these plants from veg to flour um, and they're all female, so they're going to produce buds. Um, so when you do that, they actually get like a morning sickness. And, you know, just like humans crave um, like citrus or those types of um, foods or fruits to alleviate some of the symptoms that go with it, um, plants crave something similar. Um, it's just we can't use, you know, something acidic because of the type of plants we're planting, marijuana, um, cannabis. Um, so you want to use um, something like squash, pumpkin, and potassium. Something high in potassium and so this is what we use to do that. Um, so this is going on about, uh, I think this is the seventh day now. Um, so actually underneath this, you'll see that it's mostly just liquid. So this gets poured out and kept and then it gets reduced down with, um, you know, just water, straight RO water, and then you can either get sprayed on top of the plants um, or just fed right in the soil. So this is what else is going on, and obviously um, I'm going to be starting flowering these ladies probably within the next two weeks. So, um, you know, this is about done. I'll be able to reduce it down and start using it and then help their transition to the flower period. So. All right, so that's kind of what's been going on in my garden. Um, you know, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Things are looking really good. Um, plants are doing great. They're super healthy. Um, they seem to be loving the soil that they're in and the feeding regimen that I got going on. So, you know, I'll be flipping into flour probably within the next, I'm hoping two to three weeks. Um, hopefully within two, um, once these all kind of catch up to, a, to each other, have an even canopy. Um, once they get, you know, kind of about right there, halfway through this other one, I want to flower them out. Um, cause I know I got that stretch going on and stuff like that. So it's about all I got going on, you know, in the future, I should have another trellis net, um, about yay high right here. Just kind of help with the weight of the buds as they start flowering out. So 
Other than that, the garden's looking good. So that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.